All right. So basically, this is a story. It's a basic story. It's actually everyone's story because, you know, uh, no one is going to get to celebrate their birthday this year. But it's basically my story on how the COVID-19 basically canceled my birthday party. All right. But before I explain everything, we'll have to do a bit of backtrack and explain to why there was so much hype behind my birthday party. So it all started in 2017. In 2017, I had my, it was my 18th birthday party. So I was going to celebrate with my friends and it has to be, it had to be something major, you know, because when you're 18, this is, this is all that you can do. You, you have to, you have to celebrate in a big way because you can finally go out. You can finally drink. Obviously we're in Canada. You can finally go out. You can finally drink. Uh, you can do, you can do whatever you want. You're 18, you know, and you can, you can even go to jail. It's, it's amazing. But basically, um, at my 18th uh, birthday party, uh, we went to my friend's house, well, my friend's dorm, sorry, where he lived uh, during the, during our days in college. It was a dorm at the Collège Lionel Groom, uh, somewhere in North Shore, in uh, the North Shore side of Montreal. And we went there. And once we got to the dorm, it was a it was a, a filthy and a dirty ass dorm, but it was okay because we're 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 fucking we're fucking teenagers. We're all seventeen, you know. We just we were living we're living we're living in a college campus. It has to be dirty, you know. So there was like dishes everywhere. Uh, there was plastic cups all over the floor. The couch were 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 busted, you know. People were playing Super Smash on the TV. It was it was it was pretty dope. It was pretty dope, but sadly. The party ended really quickly because I got drunk way too soon. So I passed out at 12 and I just basically with me with me being passed out at 12. Everybody was making fun of me. Everybody was slapping me. People were drawing dicks on my face. And basically my birthday, my 18th birthday ended this way. I didn't really get to enjoy it at its fullest. And it was at the next morning where I met with my friend. We're in the car and he was like, yo, Eve. You, you fucked up, you, you know that, right? And I'm like, what do you mean? You're only 18 once, and, and you fucked it up. Your, your party, you were, you were trash, the party was trash. Like, you, you, you fucked up. And you only, you only had one chance, and like, that this is gonna be forever your memory of your 18th birthday. And those words kind of marked me. I, it, it resonated through my head for like, for, for, for months. And I was like, bro, I messed this up. I can't believe I messed this up and I can't go back to fix it. So in my head, the only alternative to me was to make my 21st birthday party a massive success, a success that would be so major that people would remember this day for the rest of their lives saying, yo, bro, remember how lit we were at Eve's birthday party? Yo, that shit was crazy. That's I wanted to be that. I wanted to I wanted that party to go down in the history of parties. I wanted this party to be so wild that I was going to wake up in fucking Japan the next day wearing 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 a, wearing a kimono and 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 wielding a weird ass katana and I don't know where I got the katana from but but it it just happened throughout the night you know like just just some weird shit like that you know I wanted it to be the most fucked up party of the year but for that to be the most fucked up birthday party of the year we needed preparation all right Basically, introducing Janel. All right, Janel was the guy. He was the go-to guy. He was the plug. He was the dealer of the dealers. He was the guy that was gonna hook us up with some crazy prices at the club, the best tables, and unlimited amounts of bottles for the entire fucking party. All right, and the party was going to happen on Friday, so we basically had a whole week to prepare. All right, so basically by Monday. Me and the entire squad managed to massively promote the party via social media. We all we were all inviting random people. I invited people from my kindergarten, elementary school, people from Africa. I didn't even care. I invited literally everyone. I invited all these girls. None of them even replied or even seen my messages, but I didn't even care because I know I was gonna have a fucking blast at that party. By Tuesday, the whole squad and he, and some of my other friends basically managed to come up with the money. Everybody came. They all chipped in uh, for, for the event. Some people gave 20. Some people gave 40. Others, hundreds. Some even pulled up with 200 fucking bucks. I mean, come on, man. We, th- th- this, this is just a sign. It, it's a sign that the night was going to be crazy. By Wednesday, 
everybody in the squad assembled some fucking flash out outfits. All right, but and by flash outfits, I mean we were looking sexy as fuck. I mean we had we we we, we gained the ability to impregnate women on site. We, we would just look at we would just look at shotties and they would just get pregnant. We were looking that fly. Okay, we would get we could have gone a record deal just by looking just by looking this good. All right, we don't we don't we're not even rappers. We even booked a uh, Uber XL. So we could pull up in a 2020 all black Escalade at the club and we were planning to come late just to flex on everybody else. It was just the, the purpose of that was just to flex. And on top of that, my barber, Don, came with the blessing of the gods. He came and hooked us up with a fucking presidential suite at a hotel downtown. All right, we were talking. I was, I was talking on some Wolf of Wall Street shit. Okay, we were gonna go back to that hotel after the club and party even more until fucking 6 a.m. Okay, it was going to be a shit show at a hotel, and basically we would all wake up hungover, and the next day we would wake up, celebrate, and go eat some fucking breakfast just to, just to, just for the sole purpose of flexing. All right, it was it was one of those nights. It was a flex night. All right, but then sadly, Thursday came, and this is where everything changed. On my way to work on in the morning, all right, um, it was it was probably like 10, 10 o'clock. I was I was on my way to work. I was in the train, and one of my friends texts me like, "Yo, Eve, I think it's I think it's dead for tonight." And I'm like, "What? Fuck!" I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about? It's, it's it's been planned. What do you mean it's dead?" And then I just I didn't even this this text was so was so absurd. It was so stupid. It was so it was so it was so. It was so ridiculous that I, I just couldn't I just I just couldn't bear to like continue like the conversation. So I, I just said what the fuck and I just listened to my music and I just didn't open I just didn't open the other messages. So the whole day goes by. I go to work and mind you when I'm working I don't like to keep my phone on me because like I get too distracted and I always like pick up my phone like all the time to like see my feed on Instagram or look at Twitter or whatever. So the whole day passes and it's now like five o'clock all right and mind you the party is tomorrow friday so we still got time you know but everything has been planned ahead so we we cool so i go out and I'm, i meet my friend and we're 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 going we're going to these guys like photo shoot we had like a, a video shoot for for their brand um and uh, on the way there uh, my friend texts me and I, I open my texts and he's like, yo, bro, yo, Eve, it's, it's, it's dead for real. Though. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And he sends me a post from the club itself saying that the club is closed for an unknown amount of time due to the recent outbreak of COVID-19. And the same day, actually, most of the clubs actually started closing because no one it was it was now illegal to be at a place where there was more than a hundred the, the, more than a hundred people in the same room due to due to the fact that the virus is highly contagious so basically the club decided to close the day one day before the big party and that left me devastated i felt like crying i felt like nothing i, I felt like it wasn't even worth living anymore because god damn it there's no there's no there's no real birthday party after you're 21 i mean what do you want me to celebrate fucking fucking 25 30 40 50 congratulations you're you're old as fuck now you better start a family you know uh, i was i was pretty i was in shock i was pretty sad so then like i remember the same night i i went home and i was thinking to myself i was like god damn maybe Maybe, maybe it's just, maybe I'm not meant to have, to, 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 to have like birthday parties. Maybe I'm not meant to celebrate in a big way. I've always seen movies about people throwing massive like parties for birthdays. Like, you know, the white girls in the, in the suburbs in the movies. I wanted to have my white girl suburb movie party for the first time. I never had a white girl suburb. I never had a suburb white girl party, but they look cool. You know, their parents are not home. And they invited like all the all the people from their school and they're all partying in their house and they have a pool too. I wanted I thought this could have been like my this could have been my white girl party. But it turns out I'm I'm not gonna have a white girl party anytime soon. But everywhere wherever you go where there's bad, there's always something good that can come out at the end. So basically my barber hosted a a private uh he hosted like some kind of part birthday party for for him and his, his crew of barbers we went there it was fun we popped bottles 
But obviously, since they're all Latino and they all got drunk really quickly, they all wanted to square up at the end of the party. So we had to leave early at like probably 11. So we left and I went back home and I slept. And the next day, uh, I woke up, hung out with my friends, and it basically looked like this. And yeah, that was the story of how my birthday party got canceled by a fucking Chinese virus. <laughs>